Okay, so I wanted to, before I put this away, I wanted to show you my, uh, my welding cart I made. It's uh, pretty simple, actually. I just went to Home Depot and got one of these hand trucks, you see. And then I got a ratchet strap, cut it the length. You don't need all that extra. You don't need all that extra strap on there. And that holds this, that holds the welder to the cart. And then up here, oh, I guess I should have showed you that. And then this is just a piece of pipe and I weld it on the bottom as it does practice. I keep my hammer in there and I also have a wire brush that goes in here. I bought this Home Depot probably. It's uh keeps the rod dry and it must keep it dry after all these years it's been in there it's got a little gasket right here because uh, my rods work they weren't wet or anything and uh, then uh, I just throw my gloves right there and my helmet goes right there and I'll show you what I do with the with the electrical cords Take them and wrap them around the hen, hen truck. Then your your clip clamp has this thing on it. So just, just stick that on one of these cross pieces right there. I guess we can ditch that little cigar of a um, welding rod. I got a, another glove here somewhere. But anyway, oh, and plug it. Yeah, this is a 220. So I went, basically I just got a uh, a dryer cord and uh, at Home Depot and I bought the, the plug and this goes in the wall so I just wired it up, taped it up and I used that for an extension. Well I guess that's only six foot. I wish it was longer but you know as, as your wire gets longer your volts go down and uh, so I was afraid to go any farther than that. If I had any brains and uh, I was going to do a lot of welding. I'd probably do all those outlets and put it over here by the... See, my meter's right there. That's where the power comes into my house. Uh, I do have an RV plug, and I intend to put it in there uh, so that I can uh, plug my RV in. Right now, while I'm at home, unless I'm on my generator, I can only get to 20 amps. Uh, I do have a... Where that board's coming up on the wall, there's a there's an outlet mounted down below, but it's it's only a 15 amp outlet, and uh, so I can't run my air conditioner here at home or anything. But I'll show you something I do have. It's just something the builder did. I sure appreciate it. I know he didn't do it for me. Uh, oh, there it is. Look at there. There's a sewer clean out. I've used that more than once to dump my tanks. This pipe is a little smaller than the average uh, RV park drain, but uh, I put an adapter on there. Anyway, so this is how I do that, and this uh, works out pretty good. Then you just haul it around wherever you need it to.